from the President of the United States, words aimed at comforting Americans. Relax. We're doing great. It all will pass. Moments later, from the man heading the drive against the virus, a starkly different message. The worst is yes ahead for us. It is how we respond to that challenge. The number of confirmed cases in the U.S. is now more than 3,000. States are shutting down bars and restaurants. Curfews are starting to be introduced. The face of America is changing. At airports, chaos as the extended European travel ban kicks in. Where are they going? They're not going anywhere. Staff carrying out health screenings have been overwhelmed. The governor of Illinois blamed the Trump administration for a lack of planning and foresight. He didn't get the response he wanted. Well, here's what I got. I got a call at about 11 o'clock last night after that tweet from a White House staffer who yelled at me about the tweet. The administration at its now daily briefing admitted mistakes were made. The lines, again, that we saw overnight at a limited number of airports, including Chicago, are unacceptable. We've adjusted our processes. We continue to surge personnel. At the same briefing, when asked how many ventilators the U.S. had to help patients with breathing difficulties, the government secretary in charge said this. We don't disclose concrete numbers on particular items for national security purposes, but we have many ventilators, thousands and thousands of ventilators. A quick internet search reveals one study says the number is around 160,000. America's central bank has also cut interest rates to almost zero to try and protect the economy, the most dramatic intervention since the global financial crisis in 2008. There's a clear worry that even when the medical recovery begins, the financial shock will be felt for a very long time. The two leading contenders for the Democratic presidential nomination faced off in Washington in the latest debate. No audience, and both men kept six feet apart. Neither convinced the Trump administration is on top of the crisis. First thing we have got to do, whether or not I'm president, is to shut this president up right now because he is undermining the doctors and the scientists who are trying to help the American people. This is a crisis. This is like we are being attacked from abroad. This is something that is of great consequence. This is like a war. And in a war, you do whatever is needed to be done to take care of your people. This is now what Donald Trump hoped it would not be, a significant election issue. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.